Dear colleagues, my dear Jan, it's really my pleasure to be with you today, unfortunately virtually, to bring my testimonial, I would say, at the occasion of this 10th anniversary of your institute. For the 10 last year, the Flemish Institute for the Sea built its legitimacy on a very peculiar and I would say very original positioning, which is at the crossing of science and society. Nowadays, and this is obvious to every uh, independent observer, that this vision, because the designer of this uh, initiative were visionary, was of very high relevance to everybody, and particularly to the society. Who will today object that a uh, good decision and uh, obviously a good understanding of the world around us needs uh, necessarily a good research uh, to be based on? Which needs obviously uh, a good uh, and uh, practical science being implemented by those in charge of. Um, therefore, this uh, updated knowledge that everybody uh, needs uh, have to be shared among various societal levels from scientists to decision makers which is uh, in consequence imposing us uh, as a whole that the research uh, results have to be promoted towards the decision makers and to wider public. The second big challenge ahead of us is the biodiversity issues and it's not only because 2010 will be the year for biodiversity it's not necessarily also because of the conservation issues only, but mainly because the resilience of the environmental services provided by the ecosystem are basically relying on the biodiversity. The more the system is diverse, the more resiliently it behaves. And any loss of biodiversity may be detrimental to the ecosystem, wherever they are. And let us imagine also that more than 80% of the biodiversity on the Earth is at sea and that we only know about 10 to 20% of it. There you can see the big challenge in front of us to discover this new biodiversity and to understand the role of those new species before they disappear. But biodiversity, particularly the microbial biodiversity, including the viruses, is also a source of new molecules and new compounds that the biotechnology revolution should be able to develop on. And this also is a big issue for all of us. And the third domain um, I will address to you is the use of, uh, by the humanity actually, um, of energy and mineral resources coming from the sea and the ocean not only oil and gas in deep or ultra deep offshore areas, but also the methane hydrates, the ocean winds, waves and currents, which are sources uh, highly unexploited today. With the limited discovery of mineral continental deposit, the deep sea is also a source of new minerals and metals that could be of tremendous importance in the second half of this uh, chantry. As you recognize, addressing the, these complex challenges requires a more complex approach than the classical thematic design we are used to. The increasing need for interdisciplinarity or so-called multidisciplinarity in these three fields I mentioned, being in sequence or being simultaneous in a on-the-field approach, but also in many of the other fields we have to address, gives an even greater relevance to the intimidation role. Institutions like these are addressing this issue of delivering the knowledge and the information across the scientific community itself. And one of the most relevant and particularly important aspect of it is the issue of making available all the data collected by the scientists. That's why IFREMER, who is also a leader in European scientific domain for marine data dissemination, is particularly happy to see IOD, the data management entity of the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of the UNESCO, being hosted together with VLIS 
in the Ostend facilities, enabling therefore synergy and increasing efficiency. I want also here, with my Ephraimer hat, to acknowledge the common efforts Ephraimer and Vlies developed with the Russian platform in Lisbon, which role is actually complementary to the Vlies in the sense where the, it ensures actually um, the intermediation between the pan-European and the local, being regional, national, dimension of marine research. In all the projects where we were to collaborate with Vlies, we have been able to measure the high level of skill of the collaborators of these, obviously, and uh, we are very happy with that.